Okay, you guys, SEK, the homesteader here with her update of her apple cider vinegar. All right, you guys, listen up. One of my apple cider vinegars was an epic fail. So what I had to do was try it again. So you guys, remember when something doesn't go the way you want it to go or you feel like it's failure? Nope, you learned something. So my tip for you is do not set it and leave it. This is where I messed up, you guys. Y'all know how we do our crock pot dishes and we set it and leave it? <laughs> do not set this and leave it. What I did do, which was a no-no, I put it in a box. You guys, I put it in a box and I totally forgot that it was my job to stir this every day. So what happened was, Mine's created mold, black mold. Black mold is not good. Now, there are mixed views on the black mold. There are mixed view on the hairy mold. I don't care what mold it is. I don't want to see it. <laughs> All right? So, there are rumors that you can scoop it and it'll be fine. I don't want to go through that. I want to see uh, my mother being created, whether you want to call it the mother the uh, culture, the kubacha, whatever you want to call it. So that's what I learned. So I did another batch and I've been stirring my batch like every day, being faithful and it is doing its thing. Um, I have not seen any creation of mold, whether it was black mold or hairy mold. I have not seen that. So I'm super excited about my other batch that I did make and it smells very, very good. So that has been brewing or fermenting. I think I'm going into my third week. I'm pretty sure it's the third week. So like I said, that one is doing well. I'm seeing my, my culture at, at the bottom. Is it solid? No. From my understanding, when the mother is being created, it's a, light, a layer. And as you use the mother to make uh, other batches, you get more and more layers. So I'm not seeing it just, just yet. So I um, wanted to share the epic fail of the, the first batch. But again, I started another batch. <laughs> Do not put your apple cider vinegar in a box. Leave it out because you will forget. So what I did was I set it on my, my counter and so that I see it every day. And I know that I need to stir it. So don't do that. We, I know they say, oh, put it in a dark space. Put it in a cabinet. I feel like this. Now I learned that lesson. Out of sight, out of mind. That's what will happen. So do not put yours in the box because you will forget about it. So also, um, when you are fermenting or brewing, there's wild yeast in the air that we can't see. So what they, they advise you to have different areas where you have different things fermenting because you don't want to cross contaminate. So, um, I definitely didn't want to do this with that. So I've been actually keeping this outside. So I wanted to bring it in so that I can show you guys, um, you know, what happened with it. And you can see some of the, um, the blackness there. Okay. So, like I said, do not get discouraged when um, things don't go the way they're supposed to. We just um, pick up the pieces, learn what you learn, and do better on the next round. Okay, you guys? So, my second batch is doing well. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. This is SEK, the homesteader. Thank you so much for tuning into my ch um, channel. Happy fermenting brewing whatever it is you are doing whether it be wine beer or your vinegars make sure you do your research make sure you're being sanitary with um your utensils everything that you're using um yeah and research 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 all right you guys so i will see you guys on the next video thank you so much for tuning into my channel make sure you share thumbs up like and subscribe peace